everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and happy first day of October! <laughs> well, my friends, I have my witch's hat on, because this week's featured storybook is all about Gretch the Witch, and how she really wants to make Peggy Pie. <laughs> This is a really fun October Halloween read aloud because this book has a lot of alliterations in it. So a lot of different sounds and plays on words. It also has a lot of allusions to other classic fairy tales that your child would be familiar with, such as the Three Little Pigs, old nursery rhymes, and it's really fun for them to catch up on those and pick up on the similarities and see like, oh, I know that story and it's in this book. This week's featured storybook is Piggy Pie, written by Margie Palatini and illustrated by Howard Fine. So that means Margie Palatini wrote all the words and Howard Fine drew all these really cool pictures. Piggy Pie. Have you ever eaten Piggy Pie before? I haven't. What do you think's in Piggy Pie? How do you make it? Yeah, it seems like the witch Maybe the witch eats piggy pie, and I wonder how she makes it. I think you need some piggies, right? Okay, well let's find out what piggy pie is. So here's our title page, Piggy Pie, who wrote it, who illustrated it. So let's begin. Gritch the witch woke up very grouchy, grumpy, and very hungry. Her belly grumbled for something delicious, something delightful, something special. But what? What do you think witches like to eat in the morning for breakfast? Ooh, I wonder. It wasn't purple mouse tail stew. Ooh. No, she ate that yesterday for lunch. Maybe some mass dragon tongue pudding? Does that sound yummy to you? Perhaps a taste of boiled black buzzard feet, boiled bird feet. <gasps> Witches eat really different things, huh? That always made her mouth water. Ooh, sounds like she really likes that one. But no, not today. Today, Gritch wanted something truly tasty. I wonder what it is. What do you think? Maybe. Something special. And that could only mean. I wonder what it is. But my friends, look over here. I see Gritch the Witch waking up. And I see a lot of interesting things happening in her, in her room while she wakes up. What do you see? Remember witches have magical things because they're magic? What kind of magical things do you see going on in her room? I see it. Looks like the bed is alive and it's also yawning like her. It looks like the drawers have faces and a frog. Is that little tiny fly? It's eating a fly. Hmm. Lots of different things, huh? Well, let's find out what her special food is going to be. Piggy pie! Just like our title, my friends, piggy pie. Sounds like that's what the witch really wants to eat. How do you make piggy pie? I think we're going to find out. Yes, yes, piggy pie. I can taste those plump, juicy pink piggies right now. Gritch said, smacking her lips. So, can you smack your lips? <laughs> Just like the witch. She hurried to the pantry and pulled down her old hag cookbook from the top shelf. She picked off a spider, blew off the dust, and turned to the secret recipe on page 342. Gritch ran her bony finger with the long green nail. Do you see her fingernails? Super long, huh? She ran her fingernails down the list of ingredients. So this is the list that tells you everything she needs to make piggy pie. Let's see what she needs. Let's take a closer look and see if you can see the ingredients she needs. 
So, one eye of a fly. Do you see any fly eyeballs here? Oh, maybe right there. Two shakes of a rattlesnake's rattle. Do you see rattlesnake rattles? Oh, yeah, right there. No problem, said Gritch. Three belly hairs of a possum of that small black animal. Hmm, I see it says possum hairs right here. No problem, said Gritch. And for the final ingredient, she needed eight plump piggies. Do you see any piggies back here? Uh-oh, is it going to be a problem? Let's see. <gasps> Oh my goodness, problem! How does the witch feel right here? What is she doing? Yeah, it looks like she's pulling her hair. She's stomping her feet. It looks like she's having a temper tantrum. Mm. Problem screeched, Gritch. I don't have any piggies. How can I make piggy pie without even one plump piggy? Gritch pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. And she paced the floor. She wanted piggy pie. Hmm, she said. Tapping the lucky wart on her chin. Ooh, so this is the wart right here. Is that little bump on her chin? Now where would I find eight piggies? Hmm. Look over here. So look, you can see her pulling her hair. You can see her stomping her feet. Do you sometimes, when you get upset, do you throw a temper tantrum like Gritch the Witch? Maybe. <laughs> well, it looks like she's wondering where she can find eight plum piggies. I wonder where do you find pigs? Let's see what she thinks about. Gritch thought. And thought. And thought. Aha! She shouted with a jump. The circus! Yes, yes, the circus. Are there piggies at the circus? I don't think so. The circus? No, no, not the circus. You don't find pigs in the circus. She thought harder. Where do you find pigs? Aha, uh -huh, she shouted with the jump. The zoo. The zoo has piggies. Does the zoo have pigs in them? Not really, huh? The zoo? No, no, not the zoo. You don't find pigs in the zoo. She thought much harder. Is she going to get it this time? Where are they from? That's right, the farm. Yes, yes, the farm. You find pigs on the farm. There was still just one teeny tiny problem. Where to find a farm? How is she going to find a farm? Hmm. Gritch let her bony fingers do the walking and open the yellow pages. So this is a big book that has all the phone numbers of all the different places that you can go to. So it looks like she's going to look up the farm. So she looked through the yellow pages. She turned to F for farm and this was it. Let's see the farm. So it looks like the name of the farm is Old MacDonald Farm. Does that sound familiar to you? Kind of sounds like a song you might know. Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, and guess what his phone number is? E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> well, let's see. I think she's going to go visit McDonald's farm. There she goes. It looks like she's hopped on her broomstick because witches ride on broomsticks. And what do you see down here? Where is she going to? Old MacDonald's farm. Gritch put her broomstick in gear and headed over the river and through the woods to Old MacDonald's farm. <laughs> and what does she see down on the ground when she flies over the farm? Piggies? I've got you in my sights now, you little porkers. She cackled as she flew overhead and circled the farm. So I see that she's riding something in the sky with her broomstick using some smoke in the clouds. It says... Surrender, piggies. <gasps> Give in to me. And the piggies, when they see the witch in her writing, how do they feel? Ah, they're kind of like scared, right? Because <gasps> I think they know the witch is coming for them, right? Because she wrote surrender, piggies. What do you think they're going to do? Let's see. <gasps> 
Whoa. My friends, let's take a look. So this page has no words on it. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on. What do you see? What does it look like the piggies are doing? So I see some different animals on this page, not just piggies, right? It looks like they're putting on a cow costume. I see some duck masks, a chicken mask back here. Why do you think they're putting on different animal costumes and masks? Do you think they're going to trick the witch and maybe hide from her? Ooh, that'd be really smart, huh? It's kind of like they're dressing up, kind of like how you dress up for Halloween and you trick people into giving you candy, right, at the door. Grinch zoomed in for a thump, thump, arch, landing. She spits drop, fanned her still smoking tootsies, her feet, and lifted her goggles. There wasn't a pig in sight. Because what did they do? What are they dressed as? Looks like ducks in this picture, huh? Where did they all go? Grit shouted to a duck. Hey, duck, I said, where are all the piggies? Is this a piggy? That looks like a piggy in costume. But she doesn't know that, right? Because he's all dressed up. Well, I need eight pump pluggies for Peggy Pie. Okay, my friends. So for this part, if you know the old McDonald song, I think you can help me out and read along. So the witch asked, where are all the piggies? And the ducks, the duck answered, the duck quack quacked here, it quack quacked there, here it quacked, there it quacked, everywhere it quack quacked. No piggies. How do you think the witch is going to feel? Kind of upset. Ooh. What do you mean no piggies, you dizzy duck? She doesn't sound too happy. Grinch screeched into his bill, into his duck bill. I just saw a passel of piggies, a whole group of piggies, down here not a minute ago. Hand over those hogs, you little quacker. No piggies, quack the duck. Gritch pulled her hair. Uh-oh, it sounds like she's having another temper tantrum. She stomped her feet. She even threatened the duck with one of her evil spells. But the duck was not impressed. He wasn't scared. It gave Gritch another quack. Can you quack? And waddled away. Can you waddle like the duck? So, who needs a silly duck anyway, said the witch. Who did she find? A cow. Being careful where she stepped. Why would she have to be careful where she stepped if she's on a farm with all these animals? Yeah, maybe there might be some animal poo on the ground. Have to be careful. Grit wandered across the meadow. She walked across the meadow. Yoo-hoo, she shouted. Moo? Answered the cow. You, Grit said to the cow, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for a piggy pie. <gasps> All right, you ready to sing our song again? Get your moo faces on. Well, the cow moo mooed here, it moo mooed there, here it mooed, there it mooed, everywhere it moo mooed. No piggies. Uh-oh. How do you think the witch is going to feel now? And, my friends, what's going on here? Is this really a cow? No, it's the piggies in costume. Huh? They're tricking the witch. <gasps> They're such smart piggies. <gasps> Look how big her mouth is. She must be super upset. What do you mean, no piggies, you lumpy-looking cow? It's a really bumpy-looking cow. I need... Do you remember how many piggies she needs? Eight plump piggies for piggy pie. Fork over the pork, you walking milk machine, or I'll curdle your glass of milk. Or I shall turn the milk all rotten. No piggies, moo the cow. I think it's just going to get upset again. Grit pulled her hair. Uh-oh. She stomped her feet. 
And she even threatened the cow with one of her evil spells. The cow stared at Gritch and swatted a fly with a twitch of its tail. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the angry witch, huh? And lumbered away. The cow walked away slowly. Cows, who needs some, Gritch muttered. Ooh. What animal do we have here now? Yeah, they're dressed up as chicken. Can you cluck, cluck, cluck like a chicken? Yeah. So, she tried the barnyard, where she stopped a chicken in its tracks. Okay, bird brain, where are the piggies? I need eight plump piggies for Peggy Pie. All right. Let's answer with the chicken song. What sound do chickens make? Cluck, cluck, cluck. So, the chicken cluck, clucked here. It cluck, clucked there. Here it clucked, there it clucked. Everywhere it cluck, clucked. And what did they say? Are there piggies? No piggies. I wonder what the witch is going to do. What do you think she's going to do? Yeah, she'll maybe pull her hair or Stomp her feet. What do you mean no piggies, you feathered drumstick? Gritch screeched again. What's going on here? Where's the boss of this heap of hay? The chicken flapped a wing towards old MacDonald. We're going to meet the actual farmer. Let's take a look over here. So I see a real chicken. And what about these other two? Are they real chickens? Now they're dressed up. That's silly the witch doesn't know, huh? Do you think they're going to see the real old McDonald or a dress up of old McDonald of pigs? Let's find out. Ooh, let's see, what do you think? Is this the real old McDonald or is it a dress up? I kind of see a pig face, huh? Pig ears over here. Gritch looked him over. Once. Twice. Hmm. You're old MacDonald, she said. Don't look much like your picture, do you? Why does he look different? Because he's a pig, right? In disguise, in a costume. The farmer thumped his suspenders and shrugged. Look, shorty, I've been quack quacked here, moo mooed there, and cluck clucked everywhere all on this farm. I need how many piggies? Eight plump piggies for Peggy Pie. Where are the piggies? The farmer looked here. He looked there. And here he looked. There he looked. Everywhere he looked, looked. Couldn't find them. What do you think he's going to say? Did he see any? No piggies. Uh-oh. Oh, what is she doing here? She jumped up on this barrel. How does she feel? Angry. What do you mean, no piggies, you flea-bitten seed spreader? I must have piggies for Peggy Pie. Gritch, uh-oh, pulled her hair. She stomped her feet. And she even threatened him with one of her evil spells. No piggies, said the farmer. Her stomach growled. It grumbled. Oh, she was so hungry. But there were no piggies. There would be no piggy pie. Now what was she going to eat? What do you think she's going to eat now with no piggies? <clears throat> I don't know, but it sounds like the piggies were really clever and they were able to get away from the witch, right? Hmm. Hey, there's a new friend here. Who did she find? A wolf? Huh. Psst, psst, psst. Excuse me, little lady. Wolf's the name. Ooh. Let me give you some advice. Forget about the pigs. Forget about the pigs, said Gritch, eyeing the wolf. Hmm, I wonder why he wants her to forget about them. What do you think? Do you know, is there a story you know where there's a wolf and some piggies? Maybe the three little pigs? Hmm. He nodded. They're too tricky. 
trust me. I've been chasing three little pigs for days. You remember, I think the wolf's three little pigs one lived in a house of straw and sticks and bricks. The wolf huffed and puffed. Ooh. I'm starving. Look at me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. So skinny because of no food. Grit pinched his arm. Well, not quite, she grinned. So I think she pinched it so she could see how much meat was on his bones, how skinny he really was. Hmm, I wonder what she's thinking. Mr. Wolf, I have the most wonderful idea. Since you haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten, why don't you come over for lunch with me and come to my home? I'm a very good cook. What do you think she's thinking about inviting the wolf over? Why, that does sound tempting, said the wolf, as he looked at Gritch and smacked his lips. Can you smack your lips? I remember that Gritch smacked her lips in the beginning when she was thinking of piggy pie, something delicious. What do you think the wolf is thinking that's delicious? Let's find out. Are you sure it wouldn't be any problem, asked the wolf. Problem, said the witch. No problem at all, she said as they walked arm in arm. I always enjoy having a wolf for lunch. I can see here in this picture that they're both thinking in these little cloud bubbles of what they want to have for lunch. Let's check it out. So here's what the witch is imagining. What is the witch going to eat for lunch? What is she thinking about? A wolf sandwich? I know I see a wolf's head in the sandwich. But what is the wolf thinking about over here? A witch hamburger? It looks like they both kind of want to eat each other for lunch. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think that's... What do you think is going to happen? I don't know, right? Hmm. They both kind of hungry. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to get to have a yummy lunch? Yeah. All right. Well, the end. That was a super funny book, my friends, about Peggy Pie and Gritch the Witch who always got really mad when she couldn't get what she wanted, huh? Do you remember what she would do? She would pull her hair and stomp her feet and maybe she would cast an evil spell, right? Is that how you should behave when you're upset? Maybe not, huh? What are some other things you can do if you're angry? How should you behave? What can you do? Maybe you can use your words and you can tell someone you're upset. Or if you need some quiet time, you can take quiet time away. Yeah, right? You don't want to pull your hair and stomp your feet <laughs> and make a big tantrum scene, right? Mm -mm. All right. Well, thank you for reading this fun story with me. I hope you enjoyed it. So for this week's craft, we saw in our story how the piggies dressed up as different animals in different costumes and different masks to trick the witch into thinking they're different animals. So we will be making our own Halloween barnyard masks. And here I have a chicken mask and a cow mask that are super cute. And these are like the masks that the pigs used in our story to hide from the witch that you and your kid can make. And it's kind of like a dress up thing that they can use um, in the spirit of Halloween. And this craft is also really fun because with these masks, you can reenact the story with your child and act it out with some dramatic play. It's really fun if you pretend to be the witch searching for the piggies and their children can be the piggies and they use these little masks to trick you and hide from the witch. And so they'll really love the idea of tricking you into thinking there's something different, right? So really be dramatic about it and get really mad when you can't find them. And it'll be tons of fun for them. It's a really good way to do some pretend play to retell the story and add another extension to the story. 
So once again, all those instructions for the crafts can be found on my blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. And if you do this read aloud and make these crafts activities, I would love to see and hear all about it. So please share your experiences or photos with My Storybook. You can contact me through Instagram, Facebook, or on my blog by commenting. All those media links can be found below. And please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our weekly read-alouds. New read-aloud adventures come out every Friday. So I will see you next Friday for our new Halloween read-aloud themed adventure. But until then, I hope you have a spectacular day and happy reading, my friends. Thank you.